hold again. Jim, you all right? Yeah, he just hung up the phone. It sounded like you slammed it down. I just was wondering if you're all right. You've dealt with insurance companies before. It yeah. Was, yeah, it was not a pleasant call. And then this, of course. These are all nausea, constipation. Um, I, the nurse should have done this. I'm not happy about this. It's, I thought I was going to be going home now. It's 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I'm just finishing up some charting, and I'm going to go home soon, too. You seem kind of irritable. Well, you saw I was just dealing with an insurance company. Yeah, irritable, but it's part of the job. The nurses did mention it to me. They asked me if I would mention it to you, that you are pretty angry around the office these days. If I'm angry, and maybe this is one manifestation of that, it's, uh, people don't tend to do their jobs the way they used to. Um, it's like a revolving door with the nurses, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, seems like my nurse, it's, it's a new name every three months. And with treatment nurses, that's really dangerous. It gets mm -hmm. me nervous. And I, yeah, I expect them to do their jobs. And yeah, it's, I suppose I might, I hold myself to a high standard. I expect them with patient care to hold themselves to high standards as well. And if they don't, they'll, they'll hear about it, yeah. But what are they? What are they saying? Well, what they tell me is that you seem to always be angry. You're always angry with them. Sometimes you're angry with patients. Well, I see thirty patients in a day. Go to the hospital in the morning. Go to the hospital in the evening. It's it's a long day. Um, as you know, I have to be nice with the patients. We won't have a business if I'm not nice with the patients. Um, so perhaps, yeah, when I walk out of the room, some of that frustration may take itself out. They're professionals. I think they should be able to deal with it. Jim, some of what's happening made me wonder if you're not enjoying your work anymore. I've got another six years, actually. I have it figured out. Um, I just have to get through. Mm -hmm. I just have to get through. I can make it through six years. If we have to get a few extra nurses because I'm irritable, well, that's just the way the business is going to run. Mm -hmm. I just have to get through six years. How many kids do you have in college? That's true. Both my kids are out of college. Yeah, well, mine are not. Um, one is and two have to go. And um, I don't think I'm greedy, but uh, it's a business. And the way oncology is now, with all the issues that we know we have to deal with, I think that's just the way it is. Enjoyment. Yeah, I don't know that that word is relevant, really, to me anymore. Well, some of what's happening reminds me of a previous time in my career when I was irritable and I had lost the sense of pleasure I had in being an oncologist. Now, what worked for me is I got some outside help. I talked to somebody. For me, it was a psychiatrist who helped me see that I had lost enjoyment in the work, that I was irritable and helped me to do some things differently. I hadn't taken vacations, and so I started taking real vacations. I started spending more time with patients and seeing a fewer of them. I took up some old hobbies that I had left when I started my internship. And the sum total of that is I really look forward to coming to work, and I enjoy my work again. And I find myself wishing that for you. Psychiatrist. I send patients to psychiatrists when they think they need medication or they can't cope. I, I'm coping. Mm -hmm. I, am I doing my job? Uh, you are. You are um, seeing patients and giving chemotherapy, but I think there's more to oncology than just going through the motions. Well, you're quite the idealist. When I'm in the patient's room, and that's where I feel some compassion, after that, it's a business. Well, I'm just reflecting what the nurses have told me and tried to say at least what I did when people reflected similar things to me. Um, that's all I wanted to do. Well, I don't know if I need help, but let me get back to my messages. Okay, Jim. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.